one. So over recent years, there's been multiple reports of people sustaining serious liver damage due to health supplements. In the last two weeks, I did some deep research to identify what these supplements are. And to my shock and horror, most of these supplements are still on sale and still being used by millions of people. And stay all the way to the end of the video because I'm going to tell you the only two supplements scientifically proven to repair liver damage and even regenerate the liver. Our first supplement, this one is probably the one that causes the most damage to the liver out of all the supplements we're going to look at today. 25-30% to 30 of all cases of liver damage due to supplements is caused by this one supplement. So it plays a massive role. The people affected are usually people in their 20s to early 50s, usually men, but women are also becoming more affected as they get into weight training. And the people affected, as I just mentioned, are kind of fitness fanatics, gym bunnies, people who are into weightlifting, running, those kind of high intensity workouts. Generally, the liver damage tends to be intense and prolonged. We're not talking something that lasts for a week or two, we're talking three months, six months or more. And here is something very bizarre and very cruel. A lot of the times when the person affected goes to their healthcare provider and they have some blood work done, the blood work quite often comes back entirely normal, even if liver damage is happening right there and then. And here is the second kicker. When the doctor orders further tests in terms of biopsies or histology, they can absolutely see no inflammation whatsoever. The liver looks perfectly healthy. So a lot of patients actually get reassured and sent home. But there's one clue that is kind of helping the doctors make the correct diagnosis. And that is usually there's kidney issues as well as the liver issues. So if the person comes in with signs of liver damage and they have kidney issues, usually a good healthcare provider can tell that you know, there might be something going on here. But the good news is the damage usually resolves quite quickly when treatment is given and the person stops using the offending supplement. And talking of the offending supplement, can anyone guess what this popular supplement might be? And the supplement is androgenic steroids, famously testosterone. The next item has a reputation for being super healthy, but it has resulted in very serious cases of liver damage over the years. Let's have a look. A second supplement is an extremely popular beverage. And supposedly it has slimming properties, which explains why it's so popular. People use it to lose weight. In terms of numbers, this supplement has had the widest impact of all the supplements we are going to see today. So this supplement has been responsible for more than 50 cases of liver damage since 2006. So quite a large number. In terms of what's causing this damage, one we think it's a group of compounds called catechins. And here is something very bizarre. People who've been affected have actually been using an entirely normal dose. They've not been overdosing. And here is something else that is very shocking and quite sad. When government agencies carry that test on the brands containing this supplement, 29 out of 49, so that's more than half, didn't even mention this supplement on the label. So even if somebody wanted to avoid this supplement and they looked at the label, it wouldn't even appear on there. So the person would mistakenly take the product believing that it did not contain the offending supplement, which is shocking really. And interestingly, the symptoms do not develop straight away. They can take up to three months for the symptoms to show up. But by far, the scariest part of this supplement in terms of liver damage is that it has a 10% fatality rate, according to literature. So what is the supplement? Is green tea extract. Not the liquid, green tea, the extract. I would estimate at least 50% of the people watching this video are using the next item on our list. Let's have a look. The exact problem is that people take too much of this very common vitamin. The problem can be acute or chronic, so the liver damage can be acute, meaning that it's something that develops quickly and resolves quickly, or it can be chronic, something that lasts a long time, typically more than six months. So it accumulates in the liver, it causes something called fibrosis, a scarring, and eventually causes liver damage, and if not treated, liver failure. 
We think the way this happens is accidental. So somebody might be believing that a particular brand contains certain levels of this vitamin when it contains something a lot more. Just mistakes. Common symptoms that might indicate liver damage due to this vitamin include headaches, rash, and vomiting. But the good news is recovery is very swift once the person stops taking uh, too much of this vitamin. So what is this very common vitamin? It's vitamin A. Moving on to the next item which has multiple proven health benefits and is enjoyed and used by millions of people. Let's find out. So the next supplement is actually not a supplement but a juice. It's a very popular health juice from Southeast Asia. It's now widely available in Europe, in North America and other parts of the planet. It's a very rich in antioxidants, which is one of the reasons why it's so popular. So it's very good at fighting free radicals that can cause inflammation and other ill health. The main ways people are using it is as a health tonic, and you'll find it in health shops and in pharmacies. In terms of its benefits, science has shown that it's beneficial for the immune system, it strengthens the immune system, it's very good for joint pain, and it's also very good for heart health. But this is not an innocent juice because when people get liver damage with this, two out of six have progressed or progress to liver failure. But the causality is disputed. So the people who make this juice, the manufacturers, say uh, that you know this is not the cause why people end up in hospital with liver failure. It's because people are taking some other medications or other products that could be causing their problems and their symptoms. So what is this mystery juice? It's called noni juice. Some of you might have recognized it because there's a picture of the noni fruit right here. So the next item on our list is special. And the reason is it's the only one in the list today that carries an official government health warning. Let's find out. Our next supplement is a herb. It's widely used in North America. It's very, very popular for treating menopause symptoms. So it's popular with middle-aged and older women. There's conflicting evidence in terms of whether it causes liver damage or whether it doesn't cause any damage at all. But in 2007, the Australian Health Department actually issued a warning to any product to be carried on any product containing this herb. And the warning said, you know, said something like, this product contains this herb, if you develop any symptoms of liver disease or jaundice, for example, you need to call your healthcare provider immediately. So it was that serious that the Australian Health Department felt obliged to put a warning on this herb. In terms of the damage, we think the damage is idiosyncratic. So that basically means the herb itself is not really being proven or known. It's not known to cause liver damage. But for some reason, some people are just unlucky maybe they are genetically predisposed to get liver damage when they use this herb and unfortunately a good percentage of them progress to liver failure and they end up needing a liver transplant and the name of this herb is black cohosh it's fair to say the next item on our list is probably in terms of numbers the most popular of all the supplements we listed today especially in the last 10 to 15 years let's have a look so the next supplement is what I call the longevity king because it's a hugely popular vitamin for longevity. And if you know longevity is all the rage at the moment, it has importance for virtually every single part of the body. You start from your brain all the way down to your toes, it benefits virtually every part. In terms of specific benefits, we know it's very good at uh, reducing or maintaining healthy cholesterol. We know it's very good for arthritis, arthritis pain and we know it's excellent for brain health. So where do you find this vitamin in high amounts? Beef liver has huge amounts of this vitamin and also chicken, especially organic chicken. In terms of causing liver damage, you don't even have to take very high amounts. Anything around 500 milligrams or above can cause elevated markers when you, have, when you go to have your blood work done. So in 20% of people, they show some signs of early liver damage from doses as little as 500 milligrams or above. But the good news is as soon as a person stops taking this vitamin or they reduce their amount, there's a swift recovery without even needing to go 
and spend some time in hospital. So who can tell me the name of this vitamin? If you said niacin, then you have top marks because that is the correct answer. The vitamin in question is niacin. So as I said at the start of the video, I'm gonna give you the only two scientifically proven herbs or plants that have been proven to repair the liver. And the first one, some of you might not be surprised, is milk thistle. Milk thistle has been used to treat liver disorders for more than 2,000 years. It's the herbal ingredient most often used to treat liver complaints in the US. The active substance in milk thistle is something called silymarin, which is made up of several natural plant chemicals. And we think the bulk of the benefits that comes from milk thistle comes from this one compound, silymarin. The second plant proven to help in liver recovery is artichoke leaf to a lesser degree than milk thistle but nevertheless it has lots of strong evidence backing it. Artichoke leaf has antioxidant properties and studies, particularly studies on animals, show it may help liver cells regenerate. In studies done in 2016 of people with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, artichoke leaf reduced the markers of liver damage compared with placebo. However, the clinical benefits of artichoke leaf supplementation remain to be seen. And if you care about improving your health in the next three months, I highly recommend this video and I highly recommend you action some of the tips in it.